standing on a national historic landmark that's over 2,000 years old. And Jack, you're going to kind of tell me it's a little bit about our Indian heritage. Exactly. I'm Cherokee. You're a little bit Shawnee. Shawnee tradition, Cherokee heritage. Yeah. So I'm excited to kind of learn a little bit about my heritage, but I'm in a garden. So what's going on here? Well, this garden depicts crops that were grown 2,000 and 1,000 oh. years ago by the Hopewell cultural people. And they were very simple, complex horticulturalists. Mm -hmm. They did not have corn, did not have beans. They would have grown things that we would consider to be weeds today. Amaranth, goosefoot, knotweed. We do have sunflower and squash and gourds. Okay. And we also have native tobacco that is growing. And when all this was built, they used very simple tools. And I can hand this to you. Yeah. We have the shoulder blade, or excuse me, the um, clamshell hoe okay. that is here. Now what's this used for? This would be used for gardening, as well as creating 18,000 feet of earth walls here at Fort Ancient. And that's sturdy enough to do something with? They would have had a little bit more sturdier, but wow. they would have gone through a lot of clamshells. Okay. And then also we have the deer shoulder blade. The way the deer shoulder blade would have been inserted into this shaft and then wrapped with rawhide of that animal. Again, look how flimsy it is. Yeah, I was They would say. go through a lot of bone tools and a lot of shoulder blades of deer and elk and split elk antler. What well. is here? This is called the Three Sisters. Okay. Uh, and again, what happens is we have a mound of soil and then we put in the corn. And then the corn will grow to be about a foot and a half tall and then they will plant pole beans around the outside edge of the corn and then at the very bottom they will plant squash. Hmm. And as the corn grows, we will have, as the corn grows, we'll have the beans wrapping around the corn. And then as the squash grows, it becomes its own natural de-weeder. And wow. it will make sure that it irrigates the system as well with water. Okay, now while doing my research, I kept seeing mounds that this whole thing and area started with mounds. So where is right. that? Well, we can take you outside. We can show you okay. a little bit of the earth walls that were here 2,000 years ago. So this is where it all began. Correct. If you can imagine 2,000 years ago when they constructed this site, the earth walls that are today 23 feet tall could have approached 36 feet in length. Oh. And when they built these earth walls, we have four mounds, the one here covered with stone, that are 512 feet apart and they form a perfect square. So we know that they were accomplished engineers and mathematicians mm. having a 512 foot square to either side by using these individual mounds and the openings within the walls, we have a calendar system where mm -hmm. they could use the sun and or the moon every year as an archaeoastronomy uh, astronomy event. Wow. So we've marked the first day of summer, the first day of winter. So we know they're using the sun for annual events. They're using the moon once every 9.3 years as a decade marker. So if you can imagine standing near an earth wall or near a mound, and waiting for the sun or the moon to come up in the horizon. And this would have been considered as a, not a, 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 maybe a Mecca or the Vatican, where people from all over the region would come to Fort Ancient at specific times of the year, huh. celebrate something, stay here, and then in turn, they became the people to help maintain the site itself. Wow, this is part. so, so interesting. And I know that there's so much more that we can't even get to. When you come to Fort Ancient, all you have to do, well, first of all, find Jack, because he knows everything, <laughs> but also grab a map, because I yes. mean, it stretches for... 18,000 18, feet of earth walls, whoa. or 200 miles of dump trucks placed end for end, which is from here to 15 miles from Cleveland. Unbelievable. I'm loving my trip here, awesome. learning so much. All right, we're gonna have more coming up from Warren County after the break. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome.